welcome back. In this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to unload your paper. Okay. So you're always going to want to start with this gray lever on the side here. When it's pushed forward, the machine is grabbing onto the paper so you're not able to roll it back. Push it back and you're able to roll your paper back. Okay. On the right side here and the left side here, these two black wheels, you're going to pull it forward and you're going to place the roll down on its right side. You'll notice two icons right here. You have your lock and your unlock. You're going to grab this blue lever, switch it over, grab onto your paper and pull it out. And your right hand is going to be a little different. The whole pole is going to come out with it. And that's how you take off your roll. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to load a new roll on your machine. Okay. So when you're loading on a new roll, you always want to keep in mind your core size. Um, our papers offer two different sizes. We have a two inch here. And some of our papers, like our canvas, has a little bit wider and it's a three inch. When you do have your three inch cores, we have these adapters for those rolls. So they are labeled right and left for their specific size. This right adapter is going to slide all the way through the pole here. These two prongs down will fit right into the two little holes. And to take off the adapter, flip it over, pinch the two prongs, and it will slide right out. Your left adapter is going to go with the black wheel without the pole. You're going to line it up against the ridges here, and it's going to slide right in. Turn it over pinch and pull. So always keep your box. If you need to replace your roll that's currently inside the machine, you may take it and place it back in its original box so it stays nice and clean and so you know what type of material it is. Once you've figured out your core size, next is waterfall always think waterfall or the correct way to put toilet paper your paper is always going to want to feed over and not under okay so since it is over we are going to grab our right side first place it in make sure that it's nice and pressed against there blue side always out place that in we're going to lock that in Grab the right wheel, we're going to load it back on here, and we're going to lock it in, okay? So you're going to load in your paper right over these rollers here. You're going to keep feeding the machine, and you're actually going to give it a little bit of slack. You're going to feed it a little bit extra until it looks like this. So it's going to ask you what type of paper you're loading in and it'll have the last three that you as a memory as to what was loaded in to select your go to custom and we have all of the different options and in this case we are loading in the enhanced map select it and let go so in this video i'm going to show you the ink for the canon the ink is loaded in on the left and the right side of the machine. On the left side of the machine, you have your two blacks. You have your matte black and your photo black. This is what the ink looks like. When you load your ink in and you push the blue tab down, you want to feel a slight resistance at the end. If you don't feel that resistance, the machine will tell you that the ink was not loaded in correctly. Now on your right side, you have your three colors. You have your Y for yellow, M for magenta, C for cyan. 
each ink has its own specific slot. Each ink has a chip inside so it will notify the machine when it is running low. The machine does come with a sample size and this is our smaller size and we also sell our larger size as well. Our 300 ml and our smaller size for the 120 ml. The machine can take multiple sizes at once. Once it's loaded in, press OK. And once it goes back to the home screen, you're ready to print. In this video, we have a very important part for the machine. This is your maintenance tank. It is like an ink waste box for your printer catches all of the unused ink for self-preservation of your machine. The maintenance cartridge also has a chip inside and will notify the machine when it is running full. Once it is full, go ahead and toss it out and replace with a brand new cartridge. The arrow on top of the maintenance box will always be facing the machine when you load it in. So Canva is the best um, to use to customize your sizes. So canva.com, here you're going to log in, you're going to log in with your work email and to create a custom size, create a design, custom size. You want to switch this from pixels to inches which by the way, all of your projects need to be converted from feet to inches. For example, if you wanted to print a five foot banner, you would need to put 60 inches. Your width will always be the length of what roll is inside of your printer. So for example, I have the 36 inch presentation mat and I want to make it in a 24 inch, just a small poster. If, for example, you did not want it in a landscape style, but you wanted it in portrait style, you would switch your sizes. Just as long as one of the sizes is the size that's currently inside of your printer. Resize, and it switches. You can choose between different templates, elements. You can even upload your own designs as well. So this, we're going to do school dance. Okay. Once this is ready to go and you are ready to print, it looks good to go. Go ahead and name your project. Dance. And then put the size that you created, 24 by 36. Hit share. Download. Switch to from PNG to PDF print, which all of your projects need to be converted to PDF. It cannot be JPEG or PNG, always PDF. And hit download. Now this is gonna be downloaded in your computer files. So next we are going to open is Adobe. We're gonna to go to your computer, we're going to go to downloads, 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 dance. We're going to open. So once it's finished downloading, go ahead and open up Adobe. We're going to select the printer icon. Canon TM305 and this can be connected via LAN line or via printer cable with the USB. You want to make sure that it says all fit and auto because we're going with the size that we created in Canva. So it's originally defaulted to eight and a half by 11. So if you hit print, it's going to print that size. So regular copy paper size. I'm going to hit properties. On this main page, the only thing you're going to select is preview before printing. 
select OK, page setup, page size. This is where we're going to customize the size, custom paper size, custom size, width 36, height 24, make sure it says inches, not millimeters, select OK. If you want borderless printing, I currently do not have a 24 inch. I have a 36 inch inside the machine and Adobe does give you all of these options. Um, we only offer two at the moment. We have 36 and 24. Select OK. You don't have to worry about anything else. Select OK. This is now printing to 23.98 by 35.98 because we selected borderless printing. Select print. The last thing you're going to do, this little preview window that we selected earlier is going to pop up. This is what it's going to look like. Your roll is right here. This is where it's going to cut. Once it's ready, select print. And you're complete. And that's it. Thank you.